Hi people, this is Donald Mason. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about conceptual modal genres or conceptual modal tonics. Now, what is a conceptual modal tonic? Well, four scales or four chords come from the Lydian scale. And these four chords or these four degrees they can act in a dual way. They can act both as horizontal um, modes or vertical modes. And so how do we calculate that? For example, if you see in, in George Gossett's book, if you look at the chart A, you will see that to the left of chart A, you have the PMTs, which are the primary modal tonics. And then, if you look to the right, you will see the, 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 the CMGs, or Conceptual Modal Generals, or CMTs, Conceptual Modal Tonics. So those Conceptual Modal Tonics is what I'm going to talk about. And for example, the first one is found on the fifth degree of the Lydian scale. The second is found on the second degree of the Lydian scale. The third is found on the third degree of the Lydian scale. And the fourth is found on the seventh degree of the Lydian scale. So, for example, um, this is the Lydian scale. So, the first one is on the fifth. Um, to the left of the Lydian scale. Because when you go to the right, the, 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 that's another story. So to the left will be, that's a Lydian. To the left will be going this way. One, two, three, sharp four, five. So this is the first conceptual tonic, G. We need to the left, so we have this G here. Yeah. The next one is found on the second. So we have one, two, C, D. So D is the second one, which is a major. Major or altered major. So we could have it here. So we have G, G, G. Now we have D. The next one is found on the third degree. One, two, three, one, two, three, which is E. And this E could be minor because there's a minor arpeggio here on the E. That's a lead down scale. Arpeggio. Then the next one is on the seventh degree. One, two, three, sharp four, five, six, seven. This is C, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B. So that's B. And that B, we could make it minor. It should also be to the left, so we'll come to the left. Minor. So these are the four. So we have the, the G major. By the way, the G major is Ionian. And the D, if we're in G Lydian, the D becomes Mixolydian. So that's why these four, these four chords or these four degrees have a dual personality. Or we could say that they have a split personality. So this could be. But we could make it major, which is D, the D scale, the D, the D Lydian. Or we could make it D major. And then the next one, which is on the E. So we still have one. 
this could be the five mixolydian so dual states here we have this the g here with the ionian state we have this with the mixolydian state now we have this now this is the this is the the third now this third is actually this e is the six of g oh, g one two three four five six 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 that's the relative minor of g then and then the next one is the b minor we could make the b minor uh, its dual form is well together with the with the flat nine of the vertical form this minor form we could make it a phrygian Now these these four these four uh, degrees in their horizontal states have made an essential contribution to the general um, Lydian theory. The putting together of the general Lydian theory. So, and when if, if you see a if you see a note like the G, as I said before, if you see a V, it means that it's vertical. And if you see an H, that's horizontal, right? And if there's nothing, then we are free to apply verticality or horizontality according to our ear. Now, so that's it. And the thing with the thing with um, horizontal chords is that they they want to move. They have the tendency to want to go somewhere. For example, you are playing with this this. And then you go to to D. Now this D is kind of unstable because it want like it wants to go somewhere, like wants to go there or it wants to go there. See, it wants to rest there, it's at least temporary. Like a, it's like when you're driving long distances and you you're tired or you're hungry and so these four generals they act like tonic stations they act like gas stations where you can stop and and refresh yourself have something to eat have a coffee or whatever and be on the, the road again until you get home Till you get home. When you get home, you feel at, at rest. Meanwhile, the attentions. See. Um, so well, I think that's about all. I think I've said everything now. So thank you very much for your attention. Um, see you in the next video, and please subscribe. Okay. Bye.